Lift up your voice and lift up your hands. She on Yanko Boye. Fa in Shirama on Yami. Asa for Yehoah. Said a year, cheer, dear King, Yamia Dona Bedra, Dollar no, a Hong Kong more, a busy say. Necrocra said, Yeah, the Covida man came into me, Cabby. The seven did the appear to us, sir. Yamia Dumois, O two two nine, nor the Ocon couldn't be any more, Yammy, say, Yeah, what a pa, and let the washia so for. Bedu say, What a do quatrain, a banya Cassiano, so. Nancy Dury says, What are my beam? Yeah, no, I'm Kai. No more friends of us to say, Yes, so be in your politicians, Grana. I do know what to do. No money, yes, you have you, not the way you are to do. Yes, you are Cassabi, you are Sabi, and you are doing your back of one, and then another Abrawa. Until no Sabasi say you be two and a morning, and I am running into a echo. You are good, yes, I am one friend, and I am so near some mission. And I'm opening a coma papenti, Unyamia Sadu, or may I shall be said. Be bien to me, Siano. Amen. Thank you. Marshal Foyna Kwaba, Eduba, Ambassador TV, and John Dromani Mahama, yes, the NDC, the flag bearer, on our son, the NDC for 2024 election, a national prayer day, in TA, John Dromani Mahama, at the program, Bishop Chesso. I want to do worship with a crazy crazy no meanings as of for tender them no cause as of for good them a walk home here now it may prepare John Romani Mahama about what they can say prayers of worship any crazy share so after that it will be a floor thank you very much can you be seated praise the Lord hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen. 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 Thank you very much. Um, I have told this story before. It is a lesson to take praise that does not belong to us, especially for us politicians. When you go through the crowd in the rally and everybody is JM, 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 you think that you are high and mighty. All praise belongs to the Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> the day we consecrated our general superintendent, I told this story, so some of you would have heard, heard it, about a donkey that carried Jesus into Jerusalem. And uh, they were being healed. Of course, Jesus was sitting on his back, and so everybody was hailing them. And the donkey got home and told his mother, says, hey, when I went to Jerusalem, the way they were praising me, Everybody was standing and hailing me. And the mother said, Oh, by you, this ugly donkey who is going to praise you going into Jerusalem. He said, Oh, mother, it's true. If you like, let's go back to Jerusalem and I'll go and you'll see. <laughs> and so the donkey took his mother back to Jerusalem and was walking the same route that it carried Jesus. And people started stoning it and saying, What is this ugly donkey doing here? <laughs> and the mother said, The lesson is that that praise was not for you the praise was to the person who was sitting on your back <laughs> so let us all remember that it is his grace that carries us and that the praises we receive belong to him and him alone thank you very much my dear brothers and sisters in the faith I cannot single any of you out because uh, we're all distinguished uh, members of the bodies of, body of Christ. Uh, but I'd like to welcome my, my good friend, Reverend Ousu Bempa. <laughs> I noticed he got the, the loudest applause in, in the introductions. 
and uh, I want to thank him for answering to the call. This call was to everybody who is part of the body of Christ, and I'm happy that he accepted to be here with us. Thank you very much. My dear men and women of God, I'm deeply humbled and grateful for the chance to address you once again on matters concerning the progress of our beloved nation, Ghana. Your presence here reflects your unwavering commitment to the values that unite us as a people and your dedication to steering our nation onto the right path. I sincerely appreciate the audience and wise counsel that many of you have offered me whenever you have had the opportunity throughout my political career. The people of Ghana are grateful for your steadfast prayer and guidance which has helped hold our nation together even through the most challenging moments. Distinguished members of the clergy, our country Ghana today is at a critical juncture in its history. Faith in our democratic system of governance is fast eroding, especially among the youth of Ghana. Young people of this country no longer believe that the state cares about them or is committed to providing opportunities for them to thrive. A recent Afrobarometer survey revealed that more than 80% of Ghanaians believe that our country is headed in the wrong direction. We need an urgent change, of course, and of course we need an urgent reset. We need a reset of our governance, we need a reset of our economic models, we need a reset of our attitudes and values. Unfortunately, the current leadership is blissfully unaware of the abyss into which the nation is plunging. Arrogance and impunity continue to be the order of the day. Systematic looting of state resources and rampant nepotism and cronyism have become a normal way of life. The harsh reality is that our economy has been disastrously mismanaged, leaving us in the severest economic and debt crisis this country has ever experienced in its history. We're all feeling the consequences of this failure, and yet those responsible refuse to acknowledge their role and instead blame everyone and everything but themselves. Human rights violations and the deliberate undermining of state institutions have undone the progress that has been made by successive regimes before this one. The soaring cost of living has plunged many into poverty in our country, with countless businesses on the brink of collapse. Several businesses are relocating to our neighboring countries. Bank closures have rendered many banking professionals jobless. Debt exchange haircuts have eroded the incomes and savings of the Ghanaian middle class and also robbed pensioners of their savings. Our natural resources, including water bodies and forests, are under severe threat from the illegal mining menace. This poses a grave danger to our very survival as a nation. Today many of our children no longer see a future for themselves in their homeland and are all struggling to migrate to pastures abroad. The collective dream of a prosperous nation is fading very fast. You would expect that at the very least our leaders will listen to wise counsel and correct the course rather than heading down this wrong path. Unfortunately, that humility is absent in those who have governed us for the last eight years. Ghana urgently needs leadership that is inspiring and compassionate, rooted in integrity, truth, justice, and accountability. We must steer the country back onto genuine, the path of genuine progress and transformation. I have had the opportunity to govern this country before. I've had the opportunity to lose an election and watch from the outside. This reflection has given me the kind of insight that I believe can help bring this country back on track. Not everybody gets the opportunity that God may give me in this election. The opportunity to have done it before 
be able to sit back and reflect and come back and do it better once again. This is the kind of leadership the NDC offers to the people of Ghana in the upcoming December 7th election. A leadership that will be honest with the people, a leadership that will eschew extravagance, a leadership that will tackle corruption and invest the nation's resources wisely in order to create prosperity and opportunity for all of us. Ladies and gentlemen, I understand that this task will not be an easy one. But I have unwavering faith in God's ability to use me as a vessel to guide our nation through its current challenges. Since I started my political journey, God has guided my steps and given me the privilege of experiencing every level of political leadership. My odyssey in leadership has imbued me with the experience, insights and modesty to help my nation in a time of crisis such as this. And this is why I stand before you today, humbly seeking your prayers, your good counsel and blessings as we join hands with the Church of Christ to rescue and renew our nation. <clears throat> Crises are not a new thing. And even in biblical times, crises have been described in many of the books of the Holy Bible. We are, at a, we are at a time of crisis in our nation as described in the book of Genesis, and that is Genesis 47:15, when money had failed and all hope seemed to be lost. It took Joseph, the servant of God, to rescue Egypt and his family from the famine. This biblical story resonates deeply with our current reality. We live in a time of great uncertainty, but the church remains the light of the world, a city on a hill that cannot be hidden. As a son of the church, I come before you in humility, seeking your intercession and counsel as I lead my party in our mission to rescue our nation from the current leadership failure that we see. Hosea in 12.13 tells us that by a prophet, by a prophet the Lord led Israel out of oppression in Egypt and by a prophet was he preserved. You as the spiritual leaders of this land are the prophets who must provide the guidance to lead Ghana out of this crisis and preserve our peace, prosperity and progress. My dear fathers and mothers in the Lord, your wisdom and dedication to truth are what Ghana desperately needs now. In these difficult times, we need spiritual leaders who are committed to righteousness, like the leaders of the Church of Ephesus in Revelation 2, 2, who could not tolerate evil and exposed false apostles. You are called to stand against deception and lead the people on the right path. As Paul reminds us in Galatians 6, 10, Therefore, as we have opportunity, let us work for the good of all, especially for those who belong to the household of faith. I pledge to work tirelessly with my team to address our nation's unprecedented crisis and bring about the socio-economic transformation we all so desperately need. I'll continue to seek your invaluable counsel and rely on your wisdom in government as we navigate these challenges together. As President, I commit to upholding truth and integrity and will always be transparent about the state of the nation and remain humble enough to admit if we make mistakes. In a recent engagement with church leaders in Ho, in the Volta region, I committed to establish a national day of prayer and thanksgiving should I be elected President. Maybe I should say, when I am elected president, by the grace of God, in the upcoming elections. <laughs> this initiative for a National Day of Prayer and Thanksgiving stems from my belief in the power of prayer and reverence for God as essential elements for the success of any nation. And I reaffirm this pledge to you today. 
The National Day of Prayer and Thanksgiving will serve as a day of intercession, promoting national unity and cohesion, which are vital for our country's development and growth. We will prioritize religious freedoms, recognizing that churches are not only places of worship, but also centers for social upliftment, compassion, and moral leadership. By fostering a supportive environment for faith-based institutions, we will be investing in the moral strength of our own society. Under a John Muhammad presidency, the freedom of religion will be protected, as specified in our constitution. Leaders of faith and their works will not be subjected to harassment or attacks. Our goal is to create communities where worship and learning can thrive in peace, meeting our people's spiritual and educational needs with dignity. A key component of the next NDC's government will be to partner with religious organizations to invest in income generating activities, both for the benefit of the churches and their congregations. An NDC government will prioritize investments in agriculture and agribusiness, and we believe that this is an area uh, in which the church and the state can have a healthy partnership. We can have a partnership, just as we have a partnership with governments in education and health, we can create space for the church to invest in the priority areas of uh, income investment for the benefit of both the church and the nation. Therefore, the government will seek partnership with the church in investing in, among others, and not limited to poultry production, oil palm production, cashew, rice production, cassava, vegetable, cocoa processing, livestock, and other areas of agribusiness. As I said earlier, we would also seek to achieve cooperation between a new NDC government and the church in managing our mission schools. We will increase the church for the missions that um, have invested in education and have schools. We will increase the representation of the church in the governing boards of these schools and will give the churches a greater say in choosing who the headmaster and the management of these schools should be. We will work with the church on curriculum development in order that we can strengthen the moral content of what we teach our children. We will introduce a government church partnership program to incentivize faith-based institutions to engage in community development projects such as continuing to render health services, uh, participating in education of our children, providing clean water, and youth empowerment in our society. My fathers and mothers in Christ, the current legal impasse created by the Akufuado Baumia administration on the promotion of proper human sexual rights and Ghanaian Family Values Act, which was passed by Parliament, has set a dangerous precedence for our governance. The constitutional direct directives for action by the President are quite clear and need not have resulted in this stalemate. As I have publicly stated, I am a proud member of the Assemblies of God Church, and my faith does not permit same-sex marriages or relationships. No. Thank you. My faith does not permit same-sex marriages or relationships, nor does it endorse human-animal relationships, or does it allow people to change their gender as they wish. This is a fundamental belief that I hold and is grounded in my faith. I therefore assure you that the promotion of LGBTQ plus 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 <laughs> and all the pluses 
will have no place in our schools and communities under my administration. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In addition to the above, the next NDC Mahama administration will undertake sound policies and programs that will ameliorate the suffering of our people, reset our economy, and restore our nation to the path of transformation and progress. At this juncture, please permit me to briefly enumerate just a few of the policies that our government will implement as part of our agenda to reset our country for shared prosperity and growth. Edema Kreji for a soft form penny forum, Semasa, Mumbi Sebis a question. Say ahead of this election, and Mabota, dear, say if say a possible see it to me win election, then and I'm going to soon say a year, be a year, send that year, when you are young, come after. As a credit for Nishiano, John Romani Mahama had in speech, Fefe Edbert Tudra, new speech in the and an orchard credit for Nese 2024 election. Woman who say yes, go be bringing who says so for the human about election, be banning us to engage, say election year, untimely cast a year election as of for you, many sir, that be. If it's a soft one, so it's your concern. If it's a soft one, so who's okay, the pressure on you and this is for the amount to the easy office. If it's a soft one, so do a moon gym. If it's a soft one, it's not almost okay. Near one more canoe, a simu and I see in demona. It's a minute, I say, John Romani, son or catcher, a soft one penny for who's him more. Minia, after that, John Romani Mahama, I can say, you know. Anna, a can say a national communication officer, some some medium fee, and also buy inside and obey beside media. Obey beside question. I say media with Encantana. Hi, and Ubia will be a question very much for honoring His Excellency's invitation uh, to be here at such short notice. One may ask why we are all gathered here. The purpose of this gathering is pretty simple, as you are all aware, our country is in crisis. Our country presently finds itself in a terrible mess and urgently requires a rescue. His Excellency John Dramani Mahama is leading the National Democratic Congress in this year's election to bring about the change and transformation our nation needs. But His Excellency knows that it will take more than the ingenuity of a political leader for us to see the transformation we all yearn for. No matter how visionary, competent, intelligent that leader is, that leader still needs God. And he knows that without Jesus, the change we all yearn to see in our country may elude us. He recognizes that the Church of Christ is a ground and pillar of truth. The Church of Christ is a custodian of the counsels of God. And so today he has invited all of you here to drink of your wisdom, to seek your counsel, your prayers, your blessing, and your support. The Bible says in Proverbs 11 verse 14 that where there is no counsel, a people fall. But in a multitude of counselors, there is safety. Today you can look around you, we are in a multitude of counselors. I see pastors here, I see evangelists here, I see apostles here, I see prophets here, our reverend fathers are here, bishops, archbishops, leaders of the Christian faith in Ghana are all here. And I know without a shadow of doubt that the desire our father John Mahama has on his heart will be fulfilled in this place. Now, question of answer, and a reverend of both phone, a J microphone, many years, and they are so fun, a chair power, a chair, a chair, Reverend of for J Mike, and a and I watch John Romani Mahama say, eh, see, see, I know, I say, you do bra, omope, omope, pie, omope, posa, no more chance of phone, eh, ben omo. No money post new year, no more tea, chili, omo, bounce of phone, being because omo, you post new But you do be a idea, almost a soft phone, and bram boy, a soft phone in brim. You do be a idea, almost a peace council, peace council. But you see, I, almost in the offro, you be ba, yaria, one more chain, and I'm going to be braver. Sisi ano ano so jema ikofu ni nsema di tujua ebini. Amen. I'm sure that they are sitting by one. Many in the first century, Reverend Obafemi Obiani. Your Excellency, our dear, 
se akonya kasi abai wa frere wa den ko fo se yemeshia to me there is not the first time men kai wo ya men se wonya ye kakra wo fie edru ya na wa recommend se ya ma me mon pai biro asa me ya fi be kan ko me bro fu nyina ko because me say last time so on vers me dru ha na o se me metra won che e di adan se se nyen na wo pe bibi enti na wo frere wo nya men ko fo asa bi me ya kan ni ba me ya gan ni ye nyina ni se san ko fa de ye nchi ni if some be near friend san ko fa enti come back it is not a taboo but asa bi and i have it me be buy a letter by asa me mrei me bo bon ko fo amane ye let's be honest to ourselves me ka twi na de owo form na ti de mbusa awu no ya ya wa de nko fo obi bo ne bra o ye bibile enye ya odi mrika so de mu no de na nim ko butu o nti min ko jubile awu ti nsem no de ya ya ho na na kasi ya pa guo mi sira woni de ka sa e mi se nye ma da bia ye ni pa da da mu asetena a obi a bo bra o pese na nsa ka bi se obi si da de ni tire atum yante cement ho asem campaign ya de israel na monka ho so nko mo kakra cement nya me ya do na bejura iron rush e ho asem be si sai ezi obi full throttle aka ni no na ni sika o de tokoko no de aka no coins o de full throttle and the throttle no em se o fra e ya ye bo achi bi din wada o ba se nya me bo na bejura ho so nko mo e be wie sai and na First, no business. I mean, copper jeans, be sure. On your t-shirt, be our the ashesu. Dollar no. Say say eighteen come off from. The person two come just sit in. Oh, that Roma. Say the year three the year can. We are not doing our bedra. Dollar no. A home come just sit in. Oh, that Roma. Say the year three the year can. We are not doing our bedra. Dollar no. A home come more. Ebe si say. Ne kura kura say the. Me kobi na man kabi inti me kabi. Me say wani the pa echo to us say. Nyame ya adumo a otutu nan na ode ukọ nkunum die ne ne mo nyame se ye wade pa ene de wahye asofo bedu se wade do kwetena abanwa kasea no so na se duru se so wada ro ma biem e ya na wasan kai na ma fra asofo so se ye so se bi nya politicians kwa na adwene wo mutire na mo ne ya hia biem na de wo yesu yetire mu no yesu ya ka se bi wi ase se bi anya do nya oba akofo nkwa na ne nana ne abrewa nti no se ba se se ye betu ana mo no ye nyina ye mra ne ye ntu a eko wiye mu die so aye amun fere ye nyina so ne yensa me hia thank you thank you very much what is your brother so far that is en o keke bia o keke bi di room after that en aso for the switch the microphone en o mu wie ya en o mu wie dia credit for the some bomb pie e de ma john romani mahama en am ni am pie boni mu en a reverend o usu bem o usu bempa And I say yes, Reverend Usu Bempa, and Uncle Fodinim. No, no, dear. Do put name so no, dear. Inquire full MPP, Nyanka Sanka Sanka, full MPP. And Obianu is a Reverend Usu Bempa, dear. Oh, yeah. Now, you who near by it, who also rough no both Usu Bempa, so it's in a hobby. And no, Chesso, a brown more bomb pie in the moon, the realm of the spirits. Our more bomb pie, no, no, see, Uncle Puyi be bearded the children and say, I bind Cassio Kunjan El Hono. What is it? The war year of twenty sixteen now, was not Kabim Saban Cassio Kunjan. 2016, the same thing of Stan Com a prophecy is almost an adult effort. When you can nobody can change it. A beam with your self, bro, move on pine on who's a bank. Cassie Kunya Neo Hono, who said John Romani Mahama, and Yama Yafru, not yet in his silk. When you can say, and now open me, Nakoma Papenti, Unyamia Sadu, or may I shall be said. Be beant, Miss Yano. Amen. Thank you, thank you very much. Shall we all resume our seats? And Andy Obishin Simbo, Bag Bag Bank of Football in Sim, Edma Raven Osu Bempa. After that, NOJ microphone, a dim pie, a restaurant pie, a de good so. A minion, a soft phobia, sign a coy, a minion, or a cleric, a one and shout to me, who be a soft work who could dam and cassa. What you say, that soft work who could dam, that soft work who could dam. Lift up your voice and lift up your hands. She on Yanko Boye, Fa Ishirama on Yame, Asafoye Owa. We are 
What in Timono? Oh, my that's a 2024 election. A day enemy or to me for na on so I care so for this okay. I better know pepper power no one year so for shy no year on some more so for no sunny so for in shim and turn sandy the we and their credit was signed by minion. I won't bow to my talk. My uncle may happen on the crazy and there a bra the man of gods the man of God or more can her. Omo share revenue of usu bempa enya so for biya keke wata se pinti kosa so for kwa ye ma tedis muzama awo yo ba so for ba kwa me hunu ho eya jagraja maybe woman invite ne dia ano so me hunu ho ba so for ni na eko revenue of bafo usu bempa yes ajina sare omo ni na eko pi pi mo ho yes eh ya kani sa daku a mess ano so tu ne o tu obi emani be jire mano. Ha, at the same time, some quanche and crap on also a buyer. It drews you back on a swing. Oh, I saw for Nina, so for good moon. Women are to make a pimo while men or cassidy. Oh, did the empire a good John Romani Mahama? It is so. I'm a chance at twenty twenty four about to an enemy. Oh, my empire man say, Uncle Namina, Uko Sushi, and so the uncle for Bisa. Say, How? And I saw for no, it be like the more tender my back for air bowing. And right now, the one won't follow. Hey, John Romani Mahama, I won't bore you. Let's go and watch some. You said we should pray that deliver us from evil. We have registered this prayer in the courts of heaven, in the gathering of the 24 elders, and the gathering of the saints here. We said deliver us from evil, evil imaginations, evil, evil counsels, evil conspiracies. We arrest them. We send forth the blood. Let the blood begin to speak over this nation. All the 200 and something constituencies, nothing shall arrest that is against your counsel. Nothing shall prevail that is against your counsel. When men plan, you will overturn. When men plot, you will overturn. When men conspire, you will expose. In the name of Jesus, frustrate their tokens, frustrate their imaginations, divide their tongues, let their tongues of God fill their mouth with gravel in the name of Jesus and may their voice never be heard. Now unto the principalities and the power. Hear us. Hear us. Hear us. We the redeemed of the Lord by the efficacy of the blood the righteous of the the righteous people of God we stand and lift up our right hand and we say every darkness and every satanic agenda it shall be overturned we have overturned it in the name of Jesus and we establish peace during the election we establish peace after the election and we establish prosperity after the elections Rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Rule thou in the midst of your enemies. Why do the nations rage? And the people imagine the same thing against the Lord and his anointed. He that sitteth in the heavenly shall lie. 